Welcome to part two of Mickey and the Castle of Illusions. I apologise for audio quality. I don't know what's happened since Alex Kid has decided to just not work as well as it should do. At the right there, there was a door which is locked. We need to go at the top of this to get the key. So this part of the level is essentially ascending all the way up to get the key. You got a couple of new you got quite a lot of new enemies in this game in this uh, level. You've got the jack in the boxes, uh, you've got toy soldiers which you saw straight at the start, and then some aeroplanes, but then you'll come across one enemy which I can't stand in this level, which I'll show you in a minute and I'll show you why. At the moment we're ascending this tower. Uh, just to know like I said, this is the old version of uh, Mickey and the Castle Illusion. There was a re-release, a uh, remaster even, um, on the Xbox, which is pretty good. But I've got one nitpick about it. It's the smallest nitpick, and I'm sure most of you might agree. They got rid of the music. Like, they completely changed the music. I don't know why. There was nothing wrong with the Genesis soundtrack, especially the boss. The boss music in this game is possibly one of my favourite boss musics of all time, other than Sonic 2, which is as catchy as anything. But it, it just every boss in most games has a sort of like bring it on, come and kill me, or I am your challenger sort of music. But in the remaster, not really. It's just quite boring and dull, in my opinion. So we're ascending up into what looks like the kid's bedroom, where they've built a tower block of... I'm going to guess a tower block of... just flowers and diamonds, really. Uh, these jack-in-the-boxes, they have timing, but it's pretty easy to see when they're coming, because you can see their face just poking out before they decide to surprise you. And you're not, not really much of a hard enemy at all. Uh, the toy soldiers just walk, so you just bought them, bounce them, or throw something at them. Anyway, there's the key, so yeah, once you get the key, everything turns into a slope. You can get these diamonds by jumping and grabbing onto them, but they just give you points, so there's no real alert to getting them at all. Uh, the star blocks, which I find that found out in this level, yes, they do give you extra health or power. Mouse power. Don't ask. I don't know. Uh, in this part of the level, you've got some toy thing things, but, you know, I've never seen these in a sort of toy before, like flowers, like Venus fly traps. that's obviously a Mario ripoff, but so small that you couldn't count it as. The other planes, they just uh, surf around. No real problem. Oh look, spring yard zone rip. Platforms, actually it's probably not rip, it's just it's standard platform in this. Anyway, you see those Jack in the Box, yeah, they, they won't do anything except surprise you. That's about it. The springs, if you hold, then you can actually get higher ascension. Yes, here we go. It's obviously the kids' leftover dinner because there's no other excuse for Jelly to be in a toy zone. Uh, you just constantly mash the jump button and you should be fine here. Obviously, watch out for the timing of the jacking boxes, otherwise, you might get hit. But, like I said, it's, it's not really much of a problem. But it will. I would advise to have full health for the next zone, even though. Oh, the next zone. There is just one enemy, which. You, he, he, I'll come across him now. Um, you throw marbles in this one, I think, and you just throw them on the yellow, and then you can go through that enemy. It throws balls at you, and when you hit it, its unicycle goes on a rampage. Uh, easy to avoid, but when there's loads of enemies, it can get quite annoying. And I've noticed in the past videos, yes, I do say annoying a lot. Well, I guess that's one of my catchphrases. I mean, I could say pissed off or effed off, but I'm sure you guys wouldn't want me to say that. Anyway, we're coming to the next bit, which is another bit which I'm just like, what the hell's going on? So you come to this bit, straightforward path, and then you come to 
not now, but you come to an arrow up and down. And you think, oh, what's that? This inverts your controls. So up is down and down is up. And half the time I completely forget and I get hit by enemies. Uh, that is because of my short attention span, I am sure. So in in a minute I think I die. But I can't help it. Those clowns. Oh, that'll be the death of me. I'm actually someone who's not that scared of clowns, but I can see why people get scared of clowns. I mean, come on, grown man in the skies entertaining little children. What does that say to you? But there is some really good artwork of clowns, and I like ICP. If you know what ICP is, it's Insane Clown Posse, and some of their songs are really good. One of my friends got me into them. Anyway, back to the game. Right, I want to try and get this health, but I don't think I managed to get it. And I'll just continue on. But that, that, that gravity push or flipsy turbine switch thing, I don't know what you want to call it, really throws you off at first, but always remember it will invert your up and down button. It technically says it on there. Yeah, there you go, I died because I, I hit the clown, this unicycle went crazing towards me, and I think I jumped and I got hit by the enemy. Uh, don't worry if you die, you've got plenty of tries. This level is a tester of what is to come, though. Hitting the plane. And yeah, topsy turvy again. But you're more prepared now, because I, I, I know what's coming up. So it was kind of good that I died, because uh, that's why you get lives, because it, it's to show you what is in front. And if you die, well, you know what you're going to expect and you're going to get better. That's the progress of life and also playing video games. That is why there is a t-shirt saying, Gamers have many lives because of the experience by losing them. Oh yes, I've just got a concussion now. And I'm still smiling and happy about it. I've no idea why. I'm so happy you're going to my head, get my girlfriend. Na, 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 na. Ha -ha! Jump on these enemies, and I think we're coming to the end of the stage. Which will come to the boss fight of this game. Ah, uh, stage. I keep saying game instead of stage, but no, there, there are plenty of bosses in this game. Like, uh, that is one thing I do like about games, when they have boss fights at the end of each stage. Because to me, that's the way it should be done. Some platformers, later on, don't have bosses at the end of stages. They just, it's a platform, and you go on to the next level. And you go on to the next level, and then you get a boss fight right here. It's not my style. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, movie screen, for getting in the way of that blasted thing. That's what you get for recording when no upload when you're uploading and you record at the same time. Okay, I think I said that the right way. Anyway, this guy jumps twice or three times and smacks his glove at you. It's annoying at first because you don't realise if he's gonna do it twice or he's gonna do it three times. Like here for example. I think it's uh, the lower health he is, he actually does it three times. Anyway, they always change colour for some odd reason when you hit them. I mean, if we gave him a black eye, I'd understand, but his old blooming body turns red. I mean, that must be just pure rage or something. Anyway, I swear it's meant to be some sort of jack in the box, but it looks like it's just a weird clown thing. I don't know what you want to call this. In fact, there you go, in the comment section. What would you call this boss? It's not a jack-in-the-box, it's not a clown-in-the-box, it's a... I, I, I don't know. Just, just be creative, see what you can actually say this boss is. Anyway, after a while, yep, yeah, you kill him and then you get the orange Chaos Emeralds! Yes, I'm sorry, I'm going to call them Chaos Emeralds because this is so ripped off of Sonic. Rainbow Gems? Really? Well, you might as well just get the seven Dragon Balls while you're at it. 
Oh, uh, the thing I don't understand in this is the technical bonus. I don't know what that is. Secret bonus, I guess I found a secret. I didn't think I did, but apparently I did. So, we're moving on to the next stage, which Mickey still doesn't understand it's a stage. He's just like, oh, what's in this room? Well, it's clearly not a room, because it's too big to be a room. I mean, even for this castle size, look at it, it's a bloody another world. It's a parallel universe. I'm going to Narnia. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in part three.